Running is a sport that has millions of devoted and knowledgeable followers. One major question elicits a wide range of responses from runners, is it better to run on a treadmill or outside? Both approaches share a passion for running. However, some outdoor runners believe treadmill running is monotonous and boring, whereas treadmill runners may prefer running in a controlled environment. Fortunately, both types of running can benefit you. In this video, we'll look at the pros and cons of treadmill and outdoor running to help you decide which is right for you. One of the most significant advantages of using a treadmill is its portability. Because most treadmills are indoors, you can use them at any time of day or night and in any weather. This can make running more accessible to those who exercise at night or live in climates that change frequently. Most treadmill runners appreciate the various functions a treadmill can provide, such as precise control over their pace, incline, and intervals. This is also beneficial for those recovering from injuries because they can progress slowly on a treadmill in a more controlled environment. Running outside, for example, may be more dangerous for someone recovering from an ankle injury due to factors such as uneven ground and slick sidewalks. Because most treadmills have cushion belts that absorb some of the impacts, running on a treadmill may be better for your joints. Hard ground, particularly sidewalks and roads, will not. Despite popular belief, most research indicates that neither type of running causes knee or joint damage. Unlike outdoor running, which can take place in forests or beautiful greenery, indoor treadmill running requires you to remain in a fixed location where the treadmill is located. Some argue that this can become tedious over time. However, many modern treadmills include screens that simulate an outdoor run, which may enhance the experience. Nonetheless, many argue that this will never be as good as running outside. Because of the treadmill's limited parameters, some runners report a less natural and shorter stride when running on it. One of the most significant disadvantages of treadmill running is the cost. It is more expensive and requires fewer muscle groups, and some people find the monotonous environment boring. Because of the changing scenery, fresh air, challenge of uneven ground, and endless options for running routes, most runners find outdoor running far more enjoyable than treadmill running. Increased variety can boost a person's motivation to keep exercising. Though both treadmill and outdoor running provide health benefits such as lower blood pressure, increased endurance, and a lower risk of depression, outdoor running may provide additional benefits simply by connecting you to nature. A 2016 study discovered that spending at least 30 minutes per week in the outdoor greenery, such as parks and forests, could reduce depression rates by 7% and high blood pressure rates by 9%. Furthermore, the various environments and obstacles you may encounter while running outside can help you activate other muscle groups and improve your balance. Dodging other people on the trail, jumping over puddles, and running up hills are all examples of actions. Additionally, because you're running on harder surfaces, research shows that running outside can help you build stronger bones. This allows for increased gravitational force and stress on the bones, which is beneficial to bone metabolism. Excluding the cost of running shoes and workout equipment, outdoor running is completely free. This makes running more affordable for people of all income levels. Running outdoors is best done when the weather is dry and somewhat warm. In contrast, whether it's raining, snowing, or excessively hot or cold, it's less safe and dangerous. But you can run outside in the majority of weather situations with the right gear, preparation, and training. Dehydration is another problem when running in extremely hot or cold conditions. If you are not rehydrating and wearing the appropriate gear, this could be fatal. And finally, nighttime running can be risky and injury-prone. If you choose to run at night, wear reflective clothing and a headlamp to aid visibility. Tell a friend where you're going and when you expect to get home. Even better, find a running partner. Outdoor running exposes you to nature, which has been shown in studies to improve mental health and lower the risk of chronic disease. However, running outside may be impossible for nighttime exercisers or those living in harsh climates. Which is better for weight loss? Exercise that you enjoy is the best exercise for weight loss. Whether you run on a treadmill or outside, regular aerobic exercise like running will burn calories and help you achieve a calorie deficit. A 2016 study discovered that running a few times per week resulted in increased fat loss. Surprisingly, despite significant weight loss, the majority of participants gained muscle mass. 
Weight loss may be aided by at least two different types of running. Low to moderate intensity running, also known as steady state running, can help you lose weight. This entails running at the same intensity and pace for an extended period of time. You could also do high intensity interval training also known as HIT. Short 30 to 90 second bursts of intense exercise, such as sprinting, are followed by an equal period of rest, such as slow running or walking. In a 2017 study, both HIT and steady state running assisted people in losing fat. Weight loss was determined by a person's effort and enjoyment during exercise, as well as the frequency with which they exercised. These findings suggest that you should do whatever type of running you can commit to. Fortunately, both HIT and steady state running can be done on a treadmill or outside. If you're sprinting outside, however, make sure to run on even ground to avoid injury. Aside from weight loss, all types of running can provide numerous health benefits, including lower blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar, depression, and anxiety. If you're new to running, consult with a healthcare provider first to ensure it's right for you. It's always best to start slowly and work your way up. At both high and low intensities, both treadmill and outdoor running can help you lose weight. The majority of research indicates that consistency and enjoyment are the most important factors in long-term success. Whether you prefer treadmill or outdoor running, it is critical to run safely. Speak with your healthcare provider before beginning a new exercise routine, especially if you have a chronic condition such as heart disease. Exercising too quickly can result in injury or more serious but rare outcomes, such as a heart attack. Also, make sure you're getting enough calories. Extreme distance runners and those on severely low-calorie diets have weaker bones, likely due to prolonged damage and a lack of calories required for proper bone repair, according to studies. As a result, whether you run on a treadmill or outside, it's critical to consume enough calories and rest between runs for healthy recovery. Extreme distance running and a lack of calories are the leading causes of bone deterioration and injury. Whether you run on a treadmill or outside, you'll reap numerous benefits, including a lower risk of chronic disease and improved mental health. The best type of running for you is the one you enjoy and will stick with over time. We hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more awesome health and fitness tips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.